The spikes tool is very much like its counterpart, the snake toothpaste and muscle tool. It will taper at the end by default. And it does not respect your brush alphas, but it does respect your curve profiles. Okay, so let's use something like that. If you have a large brush like this and you start with a constant draw mode, then it will start out the same as your brush radius. Once more, you can see how it will spike by default. So if you want to use one that's more uniform, you may want to use one of the others, uh, like toothpaste, for example, or maybe even snake. So let's undo that. Let's switch to one of these other pressure dependent draw modes. And even though I have a large brush, if I use light pressure, I'll get a small spike. If I apply heavy pressure, it will be closer to my brush size. So let's clear everything off that layer. If you hold at the end of your stroke, it will smooth the curve just like the others do. But yet still keep that same profile. This is a very good way to create things like the teeth here, for example. Um, yeah, I'll stick with one of these, something like that. And I want to remove the profile by clicking this so it releases whatever you had selected. And now, let's go back to one of these. As you can see, it extrudes perpendicular to the camera. So you would definitely want to rotate until you're at the right angle. So that is a quick look at the Spikes tool in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.